Yo, what's up everybody? It's the barber here. Forgot to close the fucking door. But, um, today's a new day. And I'm about to start my daily vlog, you know what I'm saying? This is what we're about to do. We're about to go to work real quick, see how it is. I got a couple appointments waiting for me and shit. But, um, hopefully everybody has a good day. And let's see how my day starts going, man. See how it goes. What's up everybody? It's been a while. A lot. And as you can tell, I gained a couple pounds, man. I'm looking like a swollen watermelon right now. I've never been this out of shape in my life. I kind of let myself go, man. I've been eating like crazy, drinking like crazy. This summer has been treating me crazy. I look crazy right now, goddamn. And plus I just woke up, so my eyes are all chinky. My face looks fucking swollen to me right now, so I look fucking triv. Today is the day that I'm gonna start my gym again. I'm gonna go back to the gym, start hitting it one more time. I usually end up quitting after like, I say after like two weeks, I'll start letting myself go after the gym. I used to be in the gym every freaking day, daily hitting the gym. That's all I would do, just go to work, hit the gym, smoke some medical marijuana after to relax my muscles and go back to sleep, wake up, go, go to work, hit the gym and I was fucking looking good I then started letting myself go once you got a nice little body you started like man I don't got at the gym that much because I still got the fucking body looking good and shit but that happened too long I started saying that shit for like three months straight I keep looking good and then <clears throat> I ended up being like this god damn but a lot of you guys don't know what has happened to me throughout these years a lot of you guys have seen me start this channel since I was 17. I think I was 17 or at least going to 17. And you guys seen me change throughout the years, you know? My voice probably changed, got a little deeper. My face probably changed, you know? I got facial hair now. A lot of shit changed. But the number one reason why I stopped the gym is because I got in a couple accidents. Not just one, but three accidents. So the first accident happened around i say a year ago already, you know, I got in a car crash, I was driving, thank God nobody was hurt, I wasn't really that hurt, but I fucked up my ankle, I just fractured it, I didn't break it, thank God, I was just, you know, kind of limping, I couldn't really walk that good, but I still went to work, you know, I still had my two hands, I was still working, so thank God for that, you know, I was still able to go work and stuff, I'd say a month no, this happened in the same freaking month. The same month, and I had a motorcycle. I was over there, you know, doing crazy shit, like always. But this time I was doing stupid shit, you know. I ended up going to Pacific Beach. I was drinking a lot, drinking a lot of alcohol. I'd say I went to Pacific Beach to go party like around 2 p.m. Ended up leaving around I'll say like 9 p.m. at night. Faded, obviously, you know, not thinking a bit. Not thinking at all, I mean. So I decided to go drive back home, you know, on the motorcycle. You know, it's different when you're driving a motorcycle. You got your two hands over here, and then you got to use your footwork over there to be changing gears and shit. And I was going, you know, I was driving home, riding my bike. And I seen the homie pull up next to me in his little charger saying he's trying to race. I said, all right, let's race him. We're going fucking at least like 140 in the freeway. I feel my bike fucking shaking and shit. But thank God, thank God I did not crash going that fast, you know. I finally got in, I'd say, four blocks away from my house. I was like four blocks away from my house. I had just got there, I paused on the stoplight, it was a red light, and I told myself, hey, I'm, I'm pretty hungry, I want to go to Jack in the Box, but who the hell in the right mind will pull up to Jack in the Box in a motorcycle when you got no backpack, no cup holder, no nothing, I had to hold my bags and hold my drink, how the fuck would I, how was I going to do that if I'm, if I'm riding my motorcycle, you know, but I wasn't thinking at that time. So I did a U-turn, started driving to, Mark, to Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box was like two blocks away from where I was. 
And right when I was pulling into the driveway, boom, there's a big water spillage out there and my freaking bike slipped. I ended up hitting a curb, started spinning. My freaking bike started flipping. Thank God it didn't freaking land on my head. Oh, I'll get, I'll get to that. My bike smashed, oil's dripping. My shoulder's all ripped up. It was this shoulder, it was my left shoulder. It was all ripped up. For some weird reason, there's an ambulance parked right there at the Jack in the Box. And I was like, yo, dude, are you all right? You know, and I was just like, what the hell? I was like, yeah, dude, like, leave me alone. I was just trying to get my bike and get the hell out of there before the cops came, you know, because I don't want to deal with all that bullshit. So I'm over trying to pick up my bike, pick up my bike, and it was so freaking heavy because because it was just, the oil was spilled on the ground, and I was, like, I had no grip, you know? Oh, every time I was trying to pick up the bike, I kept slipping backwards and shit. So then I had to take out my, my shoes to get some grip. I finally lifted it up with my fucked up shoulder. And I was like, damn, I got this shit up. I freaking grabbed it and started pushing it towards the parking lot of the Jack in the Box. It was like already like, oh no, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. So I didn't leave at 9 p.m. Damn, I left pretty freaking late. Let me get some sun real quick. I had to park the car real quick before someone stole the parking, so. So yeah, I guess strong. I guess I did leave pretty late because I remember it was three o'clock in the morning when I had to call the homie because everybody was still asleep, you know? I even called my sister. I was like, hey sister, what's happening? Where the fuck are you? Can you pick me up? I just crashed. You know what you tell me? She said, hold on, I'm still at the freaking club getting faded. I can't go. Call somebody else and clicked on me. I was like, what the fuck? My own sister did that shit to me? Oh, hell nah. But she's like, you know what? I'm Gucci handles yourself. So I was like, damn, what the hell am I gonna do? So then I started walking back home. You know, the ambulance was trying to give me a ride to my house. That's a lie. I said, hell no, nah, I'm good. First thing I seen in my eyes when they said, hey, I'll give you a ride. I seen money signs. And on my eyeballs, like, God damn, what the fuck is going on? These niggas are trying to rip me off after I almost killed myself. Hell no, nah, I'm good. I ain't even covered. So I'm straight off that ambulance ride. You know, that's expensive. $2,000, like, what? To ride down the street? Huh. I'd rather walk my ass home. Limping. So I, so I said, you know what? I'm going to walk home. I'm walking home. Next thing you know, I realized it was a pretty long walk, you know? Every time I kept on walking, my I kept on getting a little bit more sober, so the pain started coming through, and I was like, God, I did fuck myself up. Every little walk was like, God, shit, you know? Like, shit hurt. I finally got the homie to pick up. I said, yo, pull up. I'm over here by the Jack in the Box. He came through like in 10 minutes. We went over there and seen my bike. He was like, damn, that shit's wrecked, bro. I said, I know, my freaking helmet visor flew off, my helmet was cracked, like, it was a hard hit, you know, I was surprised it was just my shoulder that was ripped up, I said, yo, let's pick up my bike, let's set it up in the back of the truck, and let's take it home, he's like, huh, you're crazy, I gotta lift the truck, how the fuck are we gonna lift up this big ass bike on there, I still had all that adrenaline in me, so I said, you know what, I got this shit, I fucking grabbed the bike, Lifted that motherfucker up <sighs> onto the truck. Obviously, not the whole bike on top, but I at least got the freaking front part on there. Boom! And we just had to freaking lift, and we just had to lift up the back real quick, real easy. But I was surprised I still lifted that up because my shoulder was fucked up, you know. But <clears throat> it was just that momentum, that adrenaline and shit. Before, and you know, I didn't want the cops coming and all this bullshit. And then the third time I got in an accident was. Probably like four months after the shoulder started feeling good, you know, I was already like, huh? Winning. <clears throat> Same homie told me, what's up? Let's go ride the quads. Let's go, let's go to the quads. Let's go to the little terrains and throw some dirt on each other with the fucking bikes. And I said, all right, let's go see how that shit is. But he's like, you know what? Let's go get some beers. You know, let's go get some beers. Let's go get faded and go ride again. I said, you know what? I'm with that shit, you know, I ain't no ranker, I don't be pushing out or nothing, let's go get some beers, got some beers, we were sipping throughout the way, we finally got to our destination, started riding our bikes, 
the quads. I mean, I have no helmet. He has no helmet. You know, have no gear on me. I'm right behind the guy. They're anywhere. Can't really see much. You know how it is when you're behind somebody in a quad when there's dirt everywhere and shit. Next thing you know, there's this drop. There's a freaking drop that is sideways. And there's so much dirt that's going on, I can't really see much. Next thing you know, there's a freaking drop. I freaking landed that shit wrong. So I dropped. And right when there's a, right when the drop freaking uh, drops, there's a dead end. It curves and there's a dead end. Like there's a, it's a curve and then you just fucking fall to it like a little creek or something. So you're basically going down the drop. You gotta drive and go, go like that. I freaking dropped and went straight down. <clears throat> I couldn't see nothing. <clears throat> I didn't know what the fuck was going to happen. So I went down, flew off into the creek, flew, almost landed onto some fucking tree trunk or something, but I ended up falling on this shoulder. Boom! The bike came through, smashing the head. <laughs> I was like, God damn, I feel like I got socked up by Mike Tyson or something. <laughs> Then I got up, I got up and shit, and I was like, damn, did that shit just happen? Like, no way. Next thing you know, I was like, damn, I started feeling lightheaded. So I just sat down and was just breathing, you know, like, god damn, I just fucked myself up right now. Not this shoulder, but now this shoulder. Oh, hell no, nah, it's a wrap, you know? After the other motorcycle accident, where I fucked up this shoulder, you know, I still went to work the next day. I didn't really use the left hand, but I was just using my wrist, you know. The next day, I want to work the next fucking day. I didn't stay home. I still went to work. Then I got hit with this one. Yo, this one was worse. It was my right hand, you know. It was like my main hand, you know. This is where you get down. You start socking people up with. I couldn't even get out of bed. I was trying to get up, and I just couldn't. This whole leg, man, was just ripped. I don't know what the fuck. I think my clavicle muscle, my clavicle, or whatever the fuck it is, yo. I ripped this part right here. I couldn't even lift it up. I couldn't do nothing. Couldn't even freaking shower right. I had to use my left for everything, you know? It was some bullshit. But, I mean, I couldn't hit the gym throughout those days, throughout those months that I was recovering. It's already been like a year and a couple months. And it's finally way better, you know. I say that around four months ago, I went to the gym again, but every time I was lifting or benching, I still felt that little sharp pain here. I just felt like any second it was just gonna snap, you know. So I was just like, what the fuck? And I know you could just use light weight to get big and stuff like that, but you're just gonna get cut, you know. You're gonna get all oh, cut and shit. I wanted to bulk up a little bit. But I'm going to start switching up my uh, routine, probably do some calisthenics, you know what I'm saying? Do a lot of high reps and medium-sized weight, you know? I'm not going to try to do no freaking little baby weight all the time, you know? Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to get big, trust me. Just give me a couple months, I'm going to get my body back together. That's just how life is, you know? You have your ups and downs and shit. You just got to get back up and keep on grinding. But yeah... You guys didn't know that. Now you guys know. Been in a couple accidents. Been off of YouTube for a little bit. Probably guys couldn't even really even tell because I did upload a couple of videos to YouTube, looking looking like nothing happened. But today's the day, July eighth. About to hit the gym. About to change my life. Let's see how that shit goes. If you guys want to start this new diet with me? Start start it with me and see how far we can become. How far we go we get so good we start looking in a month at least all right you guys let's go inside the barbershop and see what it is